Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Spyro the Dragon. Last time I f remembered I forgot the boss from Micromedia Dreamweaver's world and did that. This time we've made our way over to Nork Nexus and we're going to head into the first of 1, 2, 3, 4? And 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah. First of 4 levels in this world. Uh, so this is it over here, Nor Nork Cove. Uh, we have to do all of them, which is a bit weird considering how this game normally works, but you have to do them in order and it unlocks each one as you complete them, so yeah. It's very uncharacteristic of this game. I don't know why they made this sudden change at the end instead of building the last world similarly to the other ones. Like, they could have made it that the boss you can only get to when you've done the others, but requiring you to do them all in order is just weird. Um... Because, like, yeah, the boss in the Artisan's world required you to visit, like, each of the other levels or something like that in order to unlock it. And that was reasonable, I think. But, like, locking the entire progression of this, this hub world behind do all the levels in order just, it just doesn't fit. Uh, I also can't really remember this level, this area very much. You can see it's, like, a lot more dangerous than some of the previous areas have been. got water everywhere. We've got guys rolling these barrels. We got uh, some treasure there. Barrels are fireproof because they're barrels. You can do that, which is kind of cool. I don't know if you can charge them when they're rolling. I have a feeling you can't. Um... I'm not supposed to come up here. Okay. <laughs> I kind of thought I could break something with the barrels and make a path that way, but it doesn't look like it. Ow! Rude. Okay, there we go. I see some treasure back there that I actually missed, so let's go back and grab that. <laughs> Do a barrel roll, get it? <laughs> oh my god. barrel here. I think I need to... like that? Yeah. Yeah, you can break open padded chests by hitting them with these barrels, which is handy, because there's barrels are everywhere. Pranked. <laughs> Hello, dragon. Latif! the good work, Spyro. I expect Nasty's really starting to worry about you. I'd be shaking in my Nork boots if I were him. Oh, snap. It's Nork boots. Wait, does that mean the boots are made of other Norks? Because, like, is that what makes him so nasty? Does he make boots out of, like, his own species? Is, is that what we're saying? Because, <laughs> yikes. <laughs> I'm not really familiar with these levels. I might leave the map on just to help me out a bit. Forgot I didn't turn it off earlier. But I'm kind of happy to have it, so we're good. <laughs> okay, we're going inside this boat now. Uh, there's rats. They pray at night, they stalk at night. Why'd the barrel explode? It wasn't an explosive barrel. It's the metal kind. Maybe they still have explosives in, they just can't be set off by flame because they're made of metal. I don't know. Uh, 
<laughs> pranked. Ow. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how to get that one. Oh, there's a chest, this barrel up there I can use. Okay. I thought I could charge the TNT barrel to knock it into the right place, but you can't. It just explodes in your face. The jams. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. Technically, I should change the last line as well so it still rhymes because I changed the line before it, but most rat parodies I've heard be able to sleeve it, what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into, even though they change rules to something else. Rules unto into is like an imperfect rhyme anyway, so whatever. <laughs> Doesn't matter too much. Mm. Fine then. <laughs> that was cool. How are we doing? Uh, there's 400 treasure here, which is less than in the previous world, but that kind of makes sense. Since the treasure is effectively worthless at this point in the game, it doesn't do anything. Rescue Thomas. Thomas? Wow, I never thought I'd be rescued, especially by such a little dragon. Uh, uh, what I mean is, I always believed in you, Spyro. You gotta Thanks. believe. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> that was super adorable. I thought that would keep chaining, but it didn't. That would have been cool. It would like chain react and take out all of them, but it just did a couple. Which was less exciting. Still neat though. Okay, uh, I don't think I missed anything back there. That's what I'm talking about. Love them chain reactions. <laughs> yeah, these barrels do seem to be explosive for some reason. I don't really understand why. level is so far easier than the previous one, so... I mean, not the previous one, the one before it. Um, Haunted Towers or whatever. So I'm not quite sure what they had in mind there. I guess having a, you know, strictly upwards, um, a monotonically increasing difficulty curve doesn't always make sense, but, you know. Well, that's the exit. I don't want to go there yet. Let's go back the other way. I'm still short some treasure. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. If I go back up here, can I take a different route to go back down? Like if I... Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, I think I can walk around this and glide back over there. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I wasn't sure which one of these paths was the exit and which one was the side path. Sometimes they don't make it super clear. like that prank. <laughs> um, do I have the key? There's a locked chest there. Um, maybe I can just break it open? Yeah, I can. <laughs> oh, wow. 
Excellent. It's like, yes, I, I know I'm supposed to go find a key, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm still missing some treasure. I wonder where it could be. Oh, it's down here, I didn't go this way. There we go. 100% level complete, yeah. <laughs> so that's not Cove done in about 10 minutes. Um. I think I'll do the next level as well. If I can remember how to get to the home exit thing. I think you actually need to go re to return home in order to unlock the next level. Because of the way this particular world works. Which is a little annoying, but I'm gonna do it. Obviously. Uh... <laughs> there we go. Returning to North Nexus. Apparently there's over 10,000 treasure. I kind of thought it would like reach 9999 or something and cap out there, but apparently it goes higher. I don't know what the total amount actually is. I mean, you probably won't find out in this run because I'm not doing the flight levels properly. So yeah, you can see that level's open now, Twilight Harbor. Um, we're going to go ahead and do that. all the treasure we needed? Not yet, I think. Yeah, I think I think there's some treasure inside each of these doors that so you have to do all the levels to get everything. Which you have to do anyway, because you can't, you know, complete the game without doing all of these levels. Twilight Harbor. I wonder why Nork Nexus is based around boats. I mean, it seems like a weird choice. <laughs> that is decidedly what it's about, though, which is strange. Oh my god! It's Splatoon! <laughs> We're playing Splatoon now! <laughs> oh my goodness. Th these are totally Splatoon like, weapons they're using. It's amazing. <laughs> Ow! Out for the splatling gun. I think it's called the splatling gun. Oh no, drowning. I guess I guess having like a harbor sort of makes sense because Spyro can't swim. So like making the entire last world out of boat themed levels is is making them very dangerous. But we already had a swamp world which sort of did the same thing, so I don't know. That's not good. That's not a good start. Um hmm. Okay, um... I think I turned around. There's gems over here. <laughs> oh, I missed that. There we go. Splatling gun. It's interesting that the enemy's colour is pink when Spyro's is purple. Like, usually you have two very different colours for the different teams in a game of Splatoon. Which is what this clearly is now. No! No! Oh dear, this is a hard level. I know I said the previous level was, like, too easy. They clearly made up for that. <laughs> Because this one's tough. Oh. 
also doesn't have a whole lot of health stuff, like, anywhere as far as I've seen. I haven't seen anything I can kill to get more health yet. Hmm. Oh, there we are, some rats. 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 We're rats. We're the rats. We pray at night, we stalk at night, we rescue Cosmos. Thank you for rescuing me. You're welcome, Cosmos. That's all you had to say? Alright. Okay, there's a locked chest back there, but I don't think we have any way to open it yet. So, it's, it's padded, it's not actually locked. So yeah, we need to blow it up or something. Um, and I don't think splatooning it is actually an option, even though that would be cool if it were. So let's keep going and see how we're going to do that, I guess. There we go. Yeah, these, these Splatling guns are a little hard to manage. I think they're a bit faster than the ones in Splatoon proper as well. Which is not good for me. Burn off a metal cog? How did I do that? <laughs> oh. Interesting. Oh, oh, hello. So we've got a bridge that we can turn into a ramp, and we've got a supercharged ramp. Oh. All coming together. Rescued Cletus. Be on the lookout for North Commando Sparrow. They better be on the lookout for me. Octolings. They're called Octolings. Okay, that was a mistake. Oh god. Oh god. No. <laughs> oh. oh dear. <laughs> this level is much, 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 much harder than Nort Cove. It's impressive. It's like they heard my complaints about lack of difficulty and, and really compensated for that. <laughs> In a big way. Hard. <laughs> oh, okay, yes, I would like these. Thank you. How much treasure is there here? 400 again. Okay. Ah! Remember, these levels are mandatory, unlike the earlier levels, um, which were technically almost all optional because you could get treasure and stuff in other ways. So, uh, kind of ramping up the difficulty here as it becomes mandatory is a little bit rude. <laughs> Um, at least that seems that way to me. Whew. That worked out better than I expected. Is that a hole I can go through, or is it just a cool looking hole? Just a cool looking hole. Okay.
Oh, okay, I think I can glide over to those yellows as well, so I will. And then I think I need to use the supercharge to break that padded crate. There's also some rats over there, so I'm gonna go get them. Rats. We're rats. We're the rats. We pray at night, we stalk at night. We're the rats. I'm the giant rat that makes all of the rules. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. I haven't been that way either, so... Ow! Back here. Cool. Okay, so let's, let's let's see what we can do here. Um, I think it's probably easiest if I leave the ramp up like this, and then I can use that ramp to jump to the top area. And if I keep going out of the top area again, I should be able to use it to break the crate. Ah, oh, dang it. I didn't get it, li it lined up quite right. Rats! They're rats! They're the rats! They respawn at night. I get them at night. Get some butterflies. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so glad that the butterfly source in this level is rats because they're rats. <laughs> Supercharge? The heck? It's like I was supercharging but really, really slowly for some reason. That was weird. Okay, this is normal again. Oh, okay. I was hoping I could uh, make it a bit easier by doing that, but that didn't work. Rats. Rats. Where are the rats? Pray at night, we stalk at night. Where the rats? I was actually saying where the rats, like where are the rats? But because they went back to get some more rats and they hadn't respawned. Because uh, I've got a green uh, firefly here. It's dragonfly, not firefly. Oh, seriously? A lot of the hard stuff in this game is doing superchargers to do weird things with them, honestly. <laughs> like in Haunted Towers it was that, and now on this level it's, it's this again. Ah, no, no! I really hope I respawn near the ramp, but I think I might respawn at the other end. We'll see how we go. Reigniting the rats. <laughs> uh, I guess this is where I wanted to be. Cool. I'm the giant rat that turns up the ramp. So we can do supercharge. Trouble ourselves into. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Woohoo! That was awesome. The rats, where the rats. Pray at night, we stalk at night. Where the rats. I'm the giant rat that makes all of the rules. I like how the enemies didn't respawn even though I died. That's a handy feature. I thought sometimes they did. I'm not quite sure what the rules are. these. <laughs> I hate these guys. They're the worst. <laughs> ah. 
that's tragic. Yeah, this level is significantly harder than any, in the, any other in the game so far. I mean, except Treetops. Treetops is, is harder, but in a puzzle sort of way. This one's hard in action kind of way, I guess. Well, these guys respawn. Ah. There we go, that's the way to deal with them. You want to jump over the Gatling Blast. Like that. No, no, no! Ah, oh, seriously? <laughs> Oh my god, this is, this is ridiculous. Reigniting. Here we go again. I respawned again. I killed you. Why are you back? I, I didn't get it. Why are these particular enemies respawning all the time? But the other enemies aren't doing that. There were definitely more enemies on the way here, and they're not coming back, but those ones are... for some reason. Oh! Oh! Oh, thank god. Oh my god. <sighs> I really hope I have all the treasure. Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. Oh, thank goodness. I've sent level complete. Let's go! Oh yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> so that was a hard level. Um, yeah, it was like twice as hard as the previous one because it took twice as long. That's not a very logical way of doing things, but whatever. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, yeah, that's uh, Twilight Harbor, I believe. But I'm going to call it Splatoon World. <laughs> And that will unlock the next one, which is... Nasty Nork? What? Already? Isn't this one Nasty Nork? Apparently not. Alright. Well, I'll take these gems. Um, okay, that's all the gems, so... Alright, I guess in the next video we're facing Nasty Nork. Already. Did not expect that. I, I honestly thought he was behind this one, but he's not. That's weird. Anyway. Rats. We're rats. We're the rats. We pray at night. We stalk at night. We're the rats. I'm the giant rat that makes all of the rules. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. Thanks for watching. <laughs>